Excuse me. Hi. I'm looking for the mayor. I'm Ruby. Today's my first... Oh. <clears throat> Mr. Mayor. Good morning. Of course. Uh, no. No, thank you. I'm fine. Okay. Yes, I'm all settled in. Listen, I just... I wanted to apologize. I'd been traveling all day, and it was pretty late when I saw you yesterday. I'm not at my best when I'm tired and hungry, so I'm sorry for how snappish I was last night. It was unprofessional, even if I wasn't on duty yesterday, so I thought maybe we could start fresh today. It's meant to be a handshake, you know, to turn over a new leaf and erase yesterday like it never happened. Hi, I'm Ruby Red. You can call me Ruby or Red. I don't enjoy answering to any other name, and I'm going to be your new social media coordinator for the town of Pardes. Thank you so much for the opportunity, and I hope that I won't let you or the town down. <laughs> Not much of a talker, are you? Well, unfortunately, you might have to be. Social media has a lot of talking in it. Because you're going to be? in our social media campaign? Yes, you are. You're the mayor of Pardes. Everyone wants to know who you are, how you operate, and to know that you're accessible. Not every minute of every day, but people want to know that if they have concerns, they'll be taken seriously and they will be addressed, whether it's to fix their problem or just to listen. Yes, I know you don't know how to Snapchat, not chat snap. <laughs> And no one uses new grounds anymore, Mr. Mayor. Well, maybe because we've evolved past new grounds, ICQ, Live Journal, Zanga, MySpace, and MSN Messenger, and now we have Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and for some reason, Facebook is still clinging to life by its fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> no, boss. We won't have to do different content for each format. We'll record a bunch of raw footage for all of them, and I'll cross-post. Well, to simplify, basically that means I'll create videos for Instagram that I can then post to all other forms of social media. Well, then that's our first course of action, to set up the accounts and create a presence everywhere. Fortunately, we have a trick up our sleeve to help us make a big impact right from the start. Well, two tricks, I guess. The elements of mystery and surprise. No one is expecting that Pardes is going to have a social media presence at all, and everyone wants to know about the town. That puts us in an excellent position to control the narrative right from the get-go to create the best impression on everyone. One thing straight. Okay. I'm sorry, <laughs> let me see if I have this right. You hired me, but you didn't want to hire me. Your deputy mayor put a vote forward and everyone else voted to hire me. Okay, and um, just out of curiosity, why are you telling me this? I mean, what's the purpose? Are you telling me this so that I'll just quit and go back? Not happening. Are you telling me this so you and I will have some sort of feud with each other? That's so high school. I had to ask, when you got bitten by a vampire, did you just stay at the same age you died? Is that why you haven't matured beyond two-dimensional teenager? Well, honestly, I don't see what purpose telling me could have served you other than to make me feel unwelcome here, or uncomfortable in general, or just to doubt myself. Newsflash, Mr. Mayor, but I'm not a child and I've done therapy. It's going to take more than you baring your fangs and telling me that you don't want me here to chase me away. Emotionally immature men don't scare me, vampire or no. So you'll have to deal with your rampant misogyny, mommy issues, and control tendencies in the privacy of your therapy sessions. Now, do you want to hear more about my social media campaign ideas or would you rather I save it and just wait for your deputy? Since you don't think it's a real job and all. Yeah, I get that you don't know me and trust has to be earned. That's reasonable. If you're trying to warn me that you're going to give me a bit more oversight at first, 
I get that. This is a brand new project that hasn't even been attempted here before, and my performance and deliverables will indicate whether or not it's worthwhile to continue a social media presence in future, not to mention whether or not there can be a thriving tourism economy here. Mr. Mayor, I get that you want to protect your citizens, but you're also not giving them enough credit. You live in a town full of monsters and supernaturals. You have more monsters than not here. Do you honestly think that if this town got visited by anyone claiming to be some kind of hunter, that your citizens would stand for it? A good chunk of them come equipped with their own weapons, homegrown. They could easily scare away anyone who dared or even defend the town if necessary. But you can't assume that everyone who crosses the town line is going to be that way. Because there's no risk without reward. And right now, you're not taking any risks and your town is losing money. You know it and I know it. People don't hire social media managers and creators out of the blue when things are already thriving and they've gone a long time without needing to. They do it when they need help. Pardes needs a thriving economy beyond the small businesses it has, and it needs new blood to do it regardless if the new blood is monster or human. Both need to feel safe here, and getting a lay of the land before moving costs more now than it used to. Have you seen the price of gas in this country? You need me, and you need my useless skills. You need new businesses, and you need tourism. That is why I am here. Okay, look, I don't know you either. I don't owe you any explanations about my background. And honestly, right now, you're not making a good impression on me. So we're going to have to work on that. Oh, no, not for me. You've already cemented your bad impression on me. I could care less what you're really like in real life. But on the socials, yeah, we need to my fair lady you up. Okay, I know there's a movie theater in this town. How do you not know about my fair lady? Uh, oh, how about Pygmalion? There we go. We need to turn you into someone sociable and welcoming. Yeah, I know we can't get you on camera, Mr. Vampire. That's what your deputy is for. But we can get your voice, and we're going to. I'm going to teach you how to project and elocute your voice for recordings. Uh, n no, you, um... You sound fine to me, <clears throat> but hearing you like this versus over camera are two different things. We'll work on it. Also, I've read the transcripts from some of your press releases. Yikes. The nicest thing I can say about that is that it's brief, but it's cold and distant and not reflective of the message you want to be sending to the world about Pardes, that you welcome anyone who wants to come. Hey, trust is something that you and I will have to work on because I'm not going anywhere. Your committee brought me here to do my job, which I am damn good at. So maybe let me do it. If you don't like the results, I'll quit. No. No, I, I won't go back. <laughs> Sorry, boss. We don't know each other well enough for that. What, are you a federal agent? The security of this town is my responsibility. I am a human, and you are a vampire. Plus, you're the mayor of this town. What chaos could I possibly cause? I'd be surprised. Well, what does that mean? That sounds like a story. Hmm. Yeah. Of course. I'd love to meet the deputy mayor. Thanks. So, is your deputy human, or... I'm making conversation and trying to see if there's anything I need to worry about logistically when it comes to filming and recording content. Oh, a homodryad. Cool. So, do they have a tree on the property or at their property? Or is that rude to ask? I did take Greek mythology in college. I do know some things. And it makes sense that a hamadryad be your deputy. More of a daytime circadian rhythm and a bit more personable. Emphysis. Interesting name. Ha, <laughs> nice try. 
I am not giving you any information about my government name. It's Ruby, Red, or Hey You. Maybe they haven't gotten to work yet? Do you hear that? Is the door locked? What? What? Is oh my god. Holy fuck. I'm calling an ambulance. Well, then who the hell should I be calling? Mount Olympus? They're crumbling. Oh fuck. It looks like ash. Their body is being turned to ash. I think their tree might be on fire. Fire department. I'll call them. Hello? Yes, I need someone to get to Deputy Mayor Emphasis's office. Hello? Yes, I need someone to get to Deputy Mayor Emphasis's house right away at 10 Typhon Lane. Something might be happening to their tree. Uh, no, because I'm standing in front of them right now watching them dissolve right in front of me. I've been told they're a hammer drive, which means their tree must be damaged in some fatal way. Please go and fix it! Okay, they're on their way and they're sending an ambulance too. It sounds like their fire captain was pretty frantic. I heard him in the background. Hey, Emphasis, hey! Hey, I'm Ruby. Remember you hired me? Okay, I'm gonna be staying with you, okay? Do you, do you want to take my hand? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not gonna think like that. You're gonna be just fine. Mr. Adrian's gone to check on your tree with the fire department. You and I are just gonna sit here and, and chat until the, until the ambulance gets here, okay? No, no, come on. Come on, stay with me, Amphi. Come on. Don't let go. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be just... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No. No, they're gone. Adrian, I'm so sorry. I... What? What do you mean, the police... <laughs> 